Hello, it's Rebecca and today is another book review day. And this is a book that I have been reading for the Wordy Birds reading challenge. I will leave a link down below to, I think, a video I made about the challenge. Oh, I can't remember, it was such a long time ago. Anywho, it will basically explain what the challenge is. It's just to read 12 books over the year, so it's one a month and each one has a different category. So this one comes from the category of a book about an animal. There we go. I read this such a long time ago, my brain has just gone, eh. Anywho, so I have been reading The Bear by Claire Cameron. So I will read you the blurb and then talk to you about the book. Anna and Stick are camping with their parents in Algonquin Park in 3,000 square miles of wilderness. It's the perfect family trip. But then Anna awakes in the night to the sound of something moving in the shadows. Her father is terrified. Her mother is screaming. Then silence. Alone in the woods, it is Anna who has to look after Stick, battling hunger and the elements to stay alive. Narrated by the five-year-old Anna, this is a gripping and moving novel that captures the fear, wonder and bewilderment of our worst nightmares and the power of one girl's enduring love for her family. So this is quite a sad book. Like the blurb says, the family have gone away camping and Anna's only five and I think Stick's only three. He's, he's very, very small. And... Everything's going fine, they go on canoeing trips, it's all lovely, they've done it before. And then one night, Anna wakes up and it's all chaos and there's things going on outside the tent and she doesn't know what's happening and it's dark and there's noises and there's smells and she can't, can't work out what's going on. And her dad gets her and her brother and puts them inside a giant, um, I don't know what they're called, but like a food cooler thing, like a, bo like a huge food box where they'd keep all their food so it wouldn't get wet and all that kind of stuff. But it, it, was, it was a giant one. And he puts the two children in there and kind of props the lid open so they can see out. And Anna can just peek through this tiny little crack in the box and she sees all this movement and these weird things and she's trying to associate what's going on with things that she already knows. So she sees something black and furry and she automatically thinks it's her next door neighbour's dog because she can't really associate it with anything else. It's, that's, that's what she sees and it kind of, it puts its nose up against the, the big box and she touches it and it's wet and it's sniffing and she's saying, it's a bit like our next door neighbour's dog but not exactly and she couldn't kind of work out what was wrong with him because that's all she could see. And obviously it's a bear, if you hadn't worked out from the title and the cover of the book. And all of this goes on and bless him, her brother, he is wetting himself because he, you know, he's, he's, a, he's, a, he's a baby basically. So he doesn't understand what he has to do, what he's doing. He's, he's kind of crying out for things and, he, and she's trying to really hold it together. She behaves so maturely. And anyway, in the morning they get out and everything is ruined, the whole campsite is just torn to shreds, everything is gone and she obviously wants to find her parents because as a child you go to your parents for help, that's that's what you do. And her dad is missing and she thinks her dad's angry. She thinks her dad's angry with them for making a mess and he's gone away because he's really angry and upset with them and she just, she can't work out what's going on and then she finds her mum lying on the ground, bleeding and they get little band-aid plasters to try and fix her and it's so sweet and so sad and the mother clearly knows she's not going to make it and she says to Anna take your brother get in the boat get in the canoe and just sail away she says you know how to do this you, you know you're very clever and Anna does as she's told still expecting to to find mum and dad later and it's just it's horrific it's it's one of those books where you do put yourself inside the head of the main character. I don't know how many people do that, but I do. If I'm reading a book, I tend to climb inside the main character and think, what would I do in this situation? And she tries her hardest, bless her. She really, really tries hard to keep her and her brother safe and to keep them both fed and warm and dry while kind of sailing around and walking through this forest and all this kind of stuff. And it's it's just a sad kind of tug at your heartstrings. However, the, st the story is written from the point of view of Anna, who is five years old. 
and if any of you either have children or are around children listening to a five-year-old talk is quite irritating because they don't have proper sentence structures they don't know the words for everything it can get a bit tedious trying to work out what they're trying to say and I felt a little bit like that with Anna and I don't like saying it because it is a a heart-wrenching book it is sad and it is horrific but sometimes I just want to say oh Anna just shut up just stop talking you don't need to talk about everything you can just get on so that was the only kind of negative thing that I had to say about the book that that dealing with a five-year-old's voice all the way through was a bit of a struggle but the story was very very good and it did drag you in and keep you kind of gripped and wanting to know what happens to these children and I won't say what happens to them because I don't like giving away spoilers even though I've been told I do tell too much of the story but I can't help it because when they're really good you want to explain what's going on but it's a lot more than what I've said and it's a it's a it's a book that you have to experience you have to climb inside and move around with the characters so I did did really enjoy it apart from the five-year-old voice did get a little bit grating but apart from that I think you should read it so if you'd like to hear any of my other book reviews, then please subscribe. I also do videos about anything to do with books, really. Book hauls, library bits and pieces, stuff to do with books and writing. So if you're interested in books at all, please subscribe and I will see you soon. Have a good day. Bye bye.